Hi guys, welcome to another Living in SATV video, David here. Today we will speak about the mark in Santon. Stay tuned. The mark, located in the golden square mile of the Santon CBD, has created a new urban landmark and transformed the character of the surrounding neighborhood on street level by activating a vibrant, pedestrian-friendly public domain. The multi-use development proudly developed by Eris Property Group, known as the MARC, an acronym of the location of the precinct on Mod and Rivonia Corner MARC, is situated in the Santon CBD. The building cost a total of 3 billion rand. Bugertman and Partners is the architect firm behind this gem. An important aspect that the architects from Bugertman and Partners got spot on is to look beyond the building. After all, architectural design doesn't end where the building ends. In the case of the mark, each building integrates well with the other elements in the mixed-use precinct, as well as with existing buildings in its vicinity. The office space at the mark consists of two office towers which rise along the Maud Street and Ravonia Road site boundaries, respectively. The first, taller tower, consists of 17 floors, providing a total of 27,000 square meters of floor space. The tower is multi-tenanted, with ENS Africa occupying 12 floors. Four floors shared by Mitsui, State, U Systems, and Ilangico. The tower still has 3,513 square meters of floor space in the tower, still available to let. The second office tower consists of 12 floors, providing a total of 35,000 square meters of floor space. This tower is owned by Momentum Metropolitan Life LTD, who is currently looking for suitable tenants to take occupancy of the building. The mark offers 6.5 basement parking floors, offering a total of 3,462 parking bays. The mark was designed and constructed to be environmentally sustainable. The development has a 5-star green rating, an independent standard award by the Green Building Council South Africa for the environmental sustainability of the design, construction and management of a building. The entire precinct has an open feel to it, with restaurants on the ground level opening up onto the street creating visible activity and an inviting atmosphere, with the multiple entrances from both Maud and Ravonia, and no barriers restricting entrances. The precinct is easily accessible from the street and surrounds, probably one of the biggest contributors to its success as a precinct. The mark is favorably situated within minutes walking distance from big office complexes such as the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, the Dutch Bank and Net Bank, as well as various major hotels such as the Protea Hotel by Marriott, the Radisson Blue Hotel, the Balaika Hotel, the Hilton and the Holiday Inn. And with never-ending traffic in Santon, people don't really need much more of a reason to go on foot whenever possible. The walk, as such, is an interesting one especially when approaching from Mod Street, where an African cultural market creates a vibe. The mark is also well connected to public transport, with access to a bus stop on the precinct door, step on Ravoni Road, metered taxis that operate in the area, and while it is on the Houtrain bus route, it is a mere 10 minutes walk to the Houtrain station. From the outside, the spectacular triangular mosaic facade of the Jewel Tower, together with the tall ENS Tower, makes a statement amongst the many other high-rises in Santon. The details of the interior, such as variety of beautiful ceilings, 
clean lines and fine detailed finishes speak of world-class excellence, befitting the typical customer. In essence, the mark brings Santon a step closer to becoming an integrated connected neighborhood that encourages accessibility to a mix of users on a human scale, providing environments where people can work, live, shop and play. However, for those driving into Santon for work, a 7-level basement provides safe parking for all. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, smash, destroy and share, of course. And I will see you in the next Living in SATV video.